your girl Sin. Welcome to the vlog. Today is October 30th and I need to start on my closet. On my last vlog I said I was going to get started on it. I did not. You guys <laughs> don't get on me. Um, but I'm going to get on it. Okay. So please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you guys kind of a little bit of the process of me trying to get my closet together. If you look at my bed, there's so much clothes on it. Um, and there's boxes in my closet that it's just, it's a lot. So I'm going to get started on building the shelf to put inside my closet. Um, I wanted an affordable version of an Ikea closet because Ikea is tripping on these costs just to do it. So I was like, let me just do my own DIY and try to like do my own closet and see if I like it. Um, so it's a process. So this is kind of like phase one. Um, but I'm going to bring you guys along on this process. So let's get started. Let me get power tools. Got my power tools, so let's leave this down here. I'm gonna start unboxing everything so I can kind of get the instructions out. So this is one of my closets. I have about three closets. So I'm just staging this area because it's gonna be a lot of energy moving in and out of this space. Um, dang, it sounds so hollow in here. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna um, go ahead and put a couple of shelves in here and also um, some um, shelves to put my shoes and my heels. So I'm just staging it really quickly before I actually get Started. So I did get this shelf from Ikea. As you guys can see, it's already assembled and I added another shelf there. Um, but this shelf is not in my closet. It's somewhere in my room, but this is some of my key pieces. Some of these stuff needs to go inside of my closet, but I'm getting everything together. But this shelf, I have another one, so I'll probably put it inside my closet as well and have the same effect as this one right here where there is bags, except the one in my closet will be shoes. And I do have motion sensor lights as well, so when I can't find anything, the light comes on and I can just grab whatever purse or bag that I need. Okay guys, so I have both of these already set. Y'all, when I tell you I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Um, I'm anemic, so I get short-winded very easily. So I am trying my best to get these done. So this is what the first piece of it is looking at. I guess these are going to stack on top of each other. Um, so this is what it's looking like. Okay guys, this is what I have so far. Um, I am going to put another shelf here, it's the same exact one, so I can put the rest of my heels because I do not have enough space for my designer heels. So these are my boots, they're going to be on the bottom. Um, and then I'll put like the, sh the heels that I wear frequently here or on this top shelf right here. I'm going to put my jewelry. Um, I'm going to organize my jewelry. <laughs> it's all in the bathroom right now. My closet, my house, like my whole room looks like a mess right now. But these are some heels that I wear as well. And then I'm gonna put all of my designer boxes up here. So I'm gonna put another shelf right here. I'm gonna organize the shelf. But this is how it's looking so far.
guys, this is what I have come up with so far. So my sneak some of the sneakers that I wear often are gonna be on the side. And then I'm gonna add some of the t-shirts that I wear often. Shout out to Achilles <laughs> apparel. Um, so I'm gonna put some of my t-shirts I wear frequently. Down here, I'm going to add a rod so that I can hang my jeans here. Because I don't wear a lot of jeans. I realized that going through all of my stuff. I don't wear a lot of jeans, but I just brought some jeans from Fashion Nova that I've I've never brought jeans from Fashion Nova before, but I'm gonna put a rod here and, and put pants and jeans here. Put some of my designer boxes up there. I put uh, my Louis Vuitton bags up there, my Chanel bags, my Louis Vuittons are here. And this is pretty much how the closet looks so far. Um, still doing some improvements, but this is what it looks like. Guys, I forgot I had these shelves. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna put them on top of there so I can have more space for my bags. I'm gonna apply these shelves up there. Close enough to being <laughs> straight, y'all. It was my first attempt and it came out okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my bag up here. And put more bags up here. So I'll probably put the Chanel bag up here. Okay guys, so this is what it's looking like so far. I just put um, two Louis Vuitton bags here instead of putting that one up there because it could not fit. But this is my small Louis Vuitton bag, another Louis Vuitton bag. So I'm just placing them up on the shelf and then I'm going to put some um, lights underneath. So I'll show you guys how the lights look. This is how the light is going to work. Let's see if this one turns on because it was giving me a hard time. I'll just replace that one, but this is how it looks. So it'll light up the bags on the bottom. <laughs> So that one has replaced, been replaced. So this is how they're going to look. Isn't that cool? So my package from Amazon came in. These are the rods. Um, I ordered two different kinds. So we're gonna see which is which. along my rod for my actual clothes. I'm gonna leave this aside. I got this one. Huh. Ha, okay, good. So that one is going to go here. All right, so I'm gonna measure this and see how I want it. Come with these, so do they not go in there? Yeah, they do. And then the other side. Okay, so. All right, guys. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Um, so this is how it's looking. And then I'm gonna, of course, hang all of my jeans here. And then uh, my hangers are coming tomorrow. So. Um, when they come, I'll show you guys how they look. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of jeans. I realized that going through all of my clothing, I don't have a lot of jeans. Um, so they're mainly going to be probably just pants.
guys so I'm waiting for the brown rice to be done um, so my doctor cleared me so I can eat brown rice <sighs> thank God um, because I was missing rice but I can only have brown rice because brown rice is not processed like white rice so I'm allowed to eat brown rice so I only eat it in moderation I probably eat brown rice once a month um, so I'm choosing today <laughs> I won't be having brown rice for the rest of the month um, but I'm just waiting for the brown rice I started on brown rice first because the brown rice well, rice in general it takes a little bit longer to cook, maybe like 15, 15 minutes. Um, so I'm going to start on that. When it's halfway through, I'm going to start on my stir fry. But in the meantime, in between time, I'm going to have my green tea. Um, so if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Starbucks green tea. So instead of having it um, and spending $5 every single day, I decided to just get me a bag of green tea, water, and some stevia. Like That's usually what I get at Starbucks anyway. So... I'm going to be sipping on that and watching YouTube. I am currently watching. <laughs> oh my God, so embarrassing. I guess it's not. Oh, Lordy. It's Jordy. I, I am in the Amberverse and the Chantopolis world. Um, so I do watch them frequently. And Zachary Michaels, Michael B. Petty, the king of being petty. Um, Charlie Gold. I watch all of them. So I'm watching that now. Um, so I'm waiting for my rice to be done. And then I'll start on survive and then I'll get back with you guys. If you don't know, I have fibroids and I'm anemic, so um, one of my cousins uh, kind of suggested this, and this is SSS tonic. This is kind of like liquid iron. Um, the reason why I did not get my myomectomy because my iron levels were really low, so I went and brought some off of Amazon. So I'm going to try it today after I finish eating my food. I heard it tastes absolutely disgusting, um, but they said that I can mix it with juice, so Preferably it's orange juice because orange juice kind of helps absorb um, the liquid iron a lot more better. So I do have orange juice here, so I'm going to eat and then I'm going to take this. I didn't know it came with three, which is, this is a lot. I think this was about maybe like 20 something dollars and it came with three. Um, so I'm just going to open it and see how it looks with you guys. They're big bottles. Oh my God, there's three big bottles? Okay, so three tablespoons daily after meal for their dosage of iron plus more than minimum requirement of vitamin B1, B12, and B3. Okay, so three tablespoons. So I'll be taking this with orange juice after my meal. So this is my stir fry. I'm going to add some sriracha. Got it from Trader Joe's as always. So I'm going to add some sriracha on top. And this is what I'm going to be eating on. And of course, I have my green tea. 
that I'm sipping on. So I'm gonna eat this. So I'm gonna try this on camera with you guys. I did have this last night, but I did not have any brown rice. I just had the stir fry, but I'm gonna try it on camera. Let's take a small piece. Let's see. This tastes so good. Jesus. Because I marinated the meat like two days before making this. So I have some left, I'm gonna um, put some away so I can eat some for tomorrow, but this tastes so good. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to try, this is my green tea. I'm gonna try this SSS tonic right now, and then I'm also gonna take my medication. I'm gonna take it with orange juice that I get from Trader Joe's. I love their orange juice. <laughs> this thing stinks. Well, let me shake it before I put it in my red cup. <laughs> my red solo cup. <laughs> All right, let's shake this a little bit. So it calls for three tablespoons. This is a tablespoon. So let's just do three tablespoons of this. Oh my God, I used to take this as a child because the smell is so familiar. Yeah, the smell is really familiar. I think my mom and dad gave me this when I was younger. I'm going to add orange juice to this. I'm not gonna add a lot of orange juice, just, just to bite, take a bite off that bitterness taste. I don't know why my cousin was like, it tastes really nasty, like you're not gonna like it, but it is it didn't taste any it didn't taste anything to me. Maybe because I missed it with orange juice, but even then when I smelt it, it didn't, didn't smell it didn't smell that bad. Um yeah. Got, like stuck my teeth, but other than that, like I tastes good to me. So I will be doing that daily and also taking my my fembre to shoot my fibroids. Um, so I'm going to sit on the couch, I'm going to edit some videos, I'm going to get some work done, and then I will see you guys soon. Hey guys, I am getting ready to go to Pilates. It is currently November 1st. It's 5.40 p.m. Um, my Pilates class is not till 6 o'clock. Um, so I'm just getting ready. So what I have on, on 
is a red jumpsuit that I put on for Pilates. Something really comfortable. Um, I'm gonna put on my um, my Pilates socks or my grip socks so I can wear it in class. And then um, I'm gonna make a green tea before I actually leave the house so I'll have something to sip on before I go to my class. It's just like the later classes usually have a lot more people. If I were to go early in the morning, there wouldn't be a lot of people so I'd be able to film it with no problem. So this is my first time taking a class late in the afternoon. Usually I take the class like 10 o'clock in the morning or 11.30 in the morning. So this is my first time taking it late. So we'll see if I can film a little bit. But I'm just gonna get ready. I'm gonna put a sweater on because I am anemic. I get really cold in there until, that's my, until my body starts to warm up from the workout. So I'm gonna get me a sweater and then put on my flip flops and then I'll be out the door. Yeah, this sun is so bright, but I love sunsets. I love the sunset, especially how the light hits in my home when the sun is going down and like you could just see my plants. It's just so beautiful. So, I'm driving to my Pilates class. Um, Takeoff from Migos passed away, and I did shed a little tear only because he was so young and the empath in me. <laughs> I just, it was just, it's just sad. I feel like the world, it just, the world stopped. I remember, it's just starting off really rough, and it's just really unfortunate. And prayers and my condolences go to the family I mean I don't know them personally but just that must be tough to lose a brother a family an uncle a cousin so I'm gonna head to my Pilates class hopefully that can kind of cheer me up um, but it's just been a really emotional day for me so <sighs> yeah Desire. Okay, you guys, so I am out of the shower. That was a really, really, really good shower. I really needed that. Um, so I'm going to start on my night routine. <laughs> so I've already washed my face. What I do wash my face is the same as my body wash is. Um, I'm gonna pull it out for you guys so you guys can kind of see what I use on my skin. I use this particular body wash on my hair and my skin because it's a three in one. Um, you can use it on your body, you can use it on your face, you can do it, you can use it while shaving. There's a lot of properties in it, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hurting from my Pilates class. It was a very intense class, but it was such a good class. So what I use is the Authentic African Black Soap. This is what it looks like, and you can, it's an all-in-one liquid soap you use it on your body, you can use it as a facial cleanser, you can use it as a shampoo, a hand soap, and also for shading. So um, it has all of the organic properties in this. Um, also, the ingredients are very organic and they're natural, and they are um, safe on animals as well, so I do use this on my body, my hair, and my face, and I absolutely love it. So what I'm gonna do is kind of like, prepare my skin. 
Um, I haven't been really breaking out, honestly. Sorry, guys. I just got a shower. I probably have, like, my hair. <laughs> my hair. You guys know I dried my hair recently. Again, like, my roots are touched up. Um, actually, let me brush my hair because I don't look good. So, I haven't been receiving any, like, breakouts or anything like that. My skin looks pretty good for the most part. Um, I'm gonna make sure that my hands are clean before I touch my face again. Um, just to make sure I don't have any products from touching my hair and putting fine on my face and causing more breakouts. All right, so my skin routine is very simple. Like I don't use a lot of stuff on my face. Um, my mom has really good skin. My like my family genetically have really good skin. Um, what I do use is I do use this dark spot corrector. I use this mainly on my neck because you know the first sign of aging is your neck and your hands. And I do I miss, I've been using this for uh, maybe like two weeks, almost two weeks. I got this off of Amazon. I will link it down below if you guys want to buy it. But as you guys can see, I have like a line here. This side is pretty much gone, but I do have. line on my neck which is genetic my mom has the same one and i don't like it <laughs> so i'm putting this all over my neck and it's been working you guys like it's been fading a lot so i like gently massage this into my skin so what i'm going to use i'm going to use witch hazel which i absolutely love on my face it just kind of refreshes my face use some of that then i'm going to take this saturday skin um they actually sent this to me so shout out to them um this has glycol acid and also has pore control complex this is more so like a toner i do use this all over my face i use this about three to five times a week and basically you can apply it with a cotton pad i, I don't do that I didn't do that because it's mine. Like, why do I have to, like, it's mine. Um, so I just put some on my um, hands. It, it it doesn't burn, but um, it leaves a little stain. It's mainly a toner. So it's going to tone my face and kind of give my face an even application or make my skin an even tone. It could be because of the, you're not cleaning their pillowcases. So make sure that you're changing your pillowcases um, frequently at night so that you don't, you know, be accustomed to um, breakouts. But I do use that. They also sent me a pore control. Um, I don't, I'm not going to use that tonight only because I like to put that um, right before I put my makeup on. Um, it's not a primer, but it's supposed to be really good for your pores. So I like to apply that like maybe an hour before I apply my makeup and then um, put my makeup on after. So I'm just tapping gently around the eyes so you guys don't you know the wrinkles shall be older. <laughs> so I'm just really tapping it into my face. Then I'm going to take jojoba oil and I'm going to place that on my face as well. This is a lightweight oil so it's not going to it's not going to um, leave my face really like um, shiny because I do have combination skin. Um, and this is some, oh, I also use this on my hair too. So this is a lightweight oil. Um, my hairstylist, Michelle, which you guys know, she does my hair red or ginger. Um, she kind of suggested that I use this on my hair, but I actually use this on my skin as well. And this is a good moisturizer at night. So if you don't want like, you don't want like a glazed donut before you go to sleep, you can use jojoba oil instead of using like a really, really, really heavy uh, oil on your face, especially if you have oily skin. That's kind of like contradicting, but <laughs> I just use a jojoba oil on my face. And I just apply to apply that in my eyebrows as well. Just evenly, just be really gentle on your face. I know I'm not doing it, but <laughs> I just do this like all the time. And this is pretty much all that I do, really. Um, 
I do have a lot of uh, oils and creams and stuff like that um, that you know companies have sent me to use and I just have so much of it like I just want to keep my nightly skin routine really really simple so I was like putting all these products in your face is just like really dude it's just so much so the uh, toothpaste that I've been using I got off Amazon this is the best toothpaste that I have ever come across is it's the live fresh and this removes plaque 250 percent better than regular toothpaste so i do use this toothpaste it okay it's pricey not gonna lie this small thing is like 20 to 23 dollars it's pricey but what i will say is that it works it really, really works. Um, if you have tartar problems, the only reason I have tartar problems is because I used to have braces and I have a leave-in retain leave in retainer in my mouth. Um, so it's sometimes hard for me to floss. Um, so I got something that's going to help loosen the tartar and also going to help prevent any buildup. So if you guys can kind of splurge on your toothpaste, I would suggest getting this particular toothpaste because it it works wonders i'm not gonna lie it works wonders so i'm going to brush my teeth with this toothpaste and then what i do at night every single night religiously every single night i've been doing it for about three weeks now i use the Kogi optic white overnight whitening gel um this is how it looks you just kind of open it and it looks like a brush and you kind of apply it on your teeth y'all when i tell you i've been using this this has brightened my teeth at least two shades i want to keep using this um this has been it's been lasting um i can say that it's been lasting and i use this all over my you know teeth that are visible um but i love it colgate did their damn thing with this whitening um pen i love it i'm actually going to buy another one off of amazon um i will link it down below if you guys want to try this as well um so what you do is that you kind of like wipe all of the saliva off of your teeth and then you kind of take the brush and you kind of paint your teeth with the liquid that whitening um liquid that comes inside of this jar now I've read the ingredients and it's just hydrogen peroxide, um, but I know I'm sure there's other ingredients too. Um, I was really nervous about possibly swallowing this because, you know, I don't really like whitening toothpaste like that, but it's not toothpaste, but whitening gel. Um, but I haven't had any irritations or anything like that, especially to my gums as well. Um, so I've been using this and I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I want to try and do it for at least three months to see how bright my teeth can get. Um, but so far, my teeth are looking good. Can't tell me shit. Um, but I love this. Uh, this is like the best investment. And this was probably like maybe less than $20, I believe. I will link it down below for you guys if you guys want to kind of purchase these items that I've kind of mentioned. If you don't buy anything else, please buy the authentic African black soap because you can use it as a shampoo a body wash and a facial wash and you can use it to shave your legs and other intimate areas as well i don't suggest using this to shave the kitty cat area because um the kitty cat area it cleanses itself so you don't really need to kind of use products to clean the kitty cat area it's self-cleaning i'm really really sore from pilates like it was a really good class it was a very intense class it was a um a step higher than the levels that I usually take. Um, this was a 1.5 class. I'm gonna tell you, like, she kind of, like, ate me up in that class. She, like, she, she, she kind of, like, didn't hold anything back. Like, she was, like, literally hitting us with so many um, different Pilates positions and making us lift heavy, heavy, because, um, you know, we're on a reformer. But, like, just living, like, lifting heavy, heavy heavy and i was just like oh my god like this is a lot a lot of crunches a lot of ab work um a lot of leg work as well my legs were like literally shivering and, and shaking during class but that's how you know the workout is good child but i love pilates um i never thought that i well that's not true because i've been a classically trained ballet dancer for over 20 years 
but since I started the Lori, Lori Harvey um, challenge, which I do have on my channel, so if you do want to watch that video, I'll probably link it up below. Um, but I started the, the whole Lori Harvey challenge and I told myself that I was gonna do Pilates for only for a month, but it's going on three months and I absolutely love Pilates, y'all. I used to do it a lot when I was in high school because it was a uh, requirement as a ballet dancer that we take Pilates class. Um, so I did take a lot of Pilates in high school and it's so it's so satisfying because I remember all the positions and I remember all of the moves and all of the, you know, uh, I don't know, I just I just remember all of the alignments that we had to to have and all of the, the core and the strength training that we did a lot in Pilates and it just it's just so nostalgic to do Pilates now that I'm an adult and I loved it back then and I'm and I'm starting to learn that I love it now. Um so I love Pilates. I'm gonna keep going, y'all. Like I'm gonna keep doing it until I can't do it no more. I know I have um my surgery in December, but I told them that I would be out for December because of my surgery. So they told me that I can come back whenever I feel better. So they've been really, really nice. Club Pilates is a really nice facility if you want to try Pilates. Like they're really, really caring and they're really, really good. Instructors are so fun. Like they make the class so fun. We crack jokes. Um, you know, everyone knows everyone because the classes are small and intimate. I just love Club Pilates and I, I'm always going to rave for them. And so far, they've been treating me so good. So if you do have a Club Pilates in your area, please try them out. Um, but because I've been loving Pilates and I, it's just very nostalgic for me to get back into it. And it kind of like makes me feel like I'm back in high school with my friends doing Pilates. And I'm not going to get emotional because I do miss some of my classmates. But, you know, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make green tea and I'm going to sit on my couch. So... You guys already know how I make my green tea. I've done it before. Um, so I'm not going to bore you guys with that. So I'm going to make my green tea, sit on the couch, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So I am getting ready to go to the beach. Today's the beach day. I'm supposed to meet up with my friend, Brittany. Um, but she has some errands to do. So I don't know if she's going to meet up with me or we'll hang out later. So you guys might get to meet Brittany today. Um, so I just got prepared. I just have a red bikini on. I do have this um, scarf just to put around my hair because you know I have red hair and red hair is and sun do not get along. I have these pants on. So I'm just keeping it really simple. I'm really excited to go to the beach because I do need to like cleanse my aura and going to the beach is the perfect way to do that. Like salt water is good for cleansing your aura and kind of like basically keeping your energy back balanced. That's why they always tell you to go to water every time that you are possibly going through like either like um, sickness or an ailment or a sadness or just your energy feels very depleted they always tell you to go towards water so that's what i'm doing today i'm just like really drained from like clients and like doing readings all week so i need to go to the beach so i went to the beach i'll probably get lunch there so i'll take you guys with me um but yeah let's head to the beach i'm probably gonna take the doors not the doors off but the the my panels off on my jeep I'm thinking about if I should do that or if I should just leave it because it's really hot in Miami. Like Miami is so hot and it's very unpredictable. Like it could be really, really hot now, but then it'll rain like 20 minutes after. So I'm thinking about taking the hood off. But let, let, let's see. Okay, you guys, so I am on my way officially to the beach. I had to run back home and then I wanted to make me a ugh, green tea before I went left the house. So what I did was I went back home, made me my green tea, um, and now I'm on my way to the beach. So yesterday I had therapy, and um, I feel like I had a, a breakthrough in therapy because it was my first time crying in my therapy session. It was just a heavy topic. I'm just going through a lot of stress, business and personal. Um, I feel like business is like, okay but when it comes to my personal it's just like having to kind of like deal with society and like you know people constantly reminding you that you're getting older and that you know it's time for you to like get married and settle down and have children it's just like a lot of societal pressure so I had a conversation or I guess breakthrough with my therapist yesterday on that topic and um I feel better today to my therapist that I would get out more. So I just decided that, you know what? 
I need to cleanse my aura. Let me just head to what I know feeds my soul and what's best for me. So I was like, you know what? It's time to go to the beach. <laughs> so I'm excited to go. I'm excited to go to one of the, my favorite restaurants that is on the beach. I'm not going to Miami Beach technically because that's where all the tourists hang out. Um, I don't go down to South Beach. South Beach is so overrated. If you are from Miami, you know, you know. <laughs> so, I am heading to Fort Lauderdale Beach. It's a lot more quieter. Yes, there's visitors there and tourists there, but it's like, I feel like it's that more older crowd that are tourists or visitors. So it's not much of like a younger crowd out there. So I'm gonna head over there um, and have lunch. I don't know if I'm gonna get, well, maybe I'll go on the beach. I need to like, I need to cleanse myself, so. But I'll see you guys when I get there. Y'all, this traffic, this Miami traffic, Jesus Christ. It's, what, 12 o'clock? Why is there traffic? Aren't y'all supposed to be at work? This is, like, why I like to do stuff during the week so that I'm gonna deal with traffic, and yet here there's traffic. What is going on, Lord Jesus? on the beach see it's open for brunch
o'clock, almost two o'clock, it's hot. That means the sun is getting higher and higher in the sky, which means it's gonna get brighter and brighter and I'm going to crisp, okay? So I'm about to leave right now, I'll head to the car. The sun is out, that's why it's so bright. <laughs> when I'm home watching Housewives, I got home from the beach. I'm currently cooking. Well, not cooking, I already made my salad. So this is the coconut chutney that I always make. And then I had some leftover salmon from yesterday that I made. So I'm just adding that to my salad. Ooh. Adding all of this to my salad so I can eat now because I'm starving. I'm gonna sit and watch Housewives and I'm gonna eat my food. <laughs> Morning guys, so I just got home from Pilates. I am about to take a shower and then put my hair in flexor rods because I'm going out with my best friend tonight. We're going to dinner. So I'll take you guys with me and show you all the jazz, how I get dressed, what I'm gonna be wearing tonight. Um, but I do wanna wash my hair because it is dirty. Um, I do wanna put flexing rods in it so that I can wear my hair curly. Um, I don't know if you, well, you guys have seen my hair curly, I'm not gonna lie, um, on my channel. But um, I'm gonna put flexi rods in, then I'm going to let them dry because it does take a long time for them to dry, like maybe three hours, um, two hours to dry. Um, so dinner is not until nine o'clock, but I'm just trying to like prepare early. Um, so I'm gonna want get in the shower. I'm gonna go take a shower, and then I'll see you guys when I'm out and my flexi rods are in. <laughs> so my makeup is done. <laughs> My makeup is done, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking out these flexi rods. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. I haven't picked out what I'm wearing just yet, but I feel like I'm I kind of know what I'm the theme that I'm gonna work for tonight. So this is my makeup. Hopefully you guys like. Um, so I'm gonna take these flexi rods out, style my hair, and then I'll come back and show you guys the final look for tonight. Hey guys, so I wanted to jump on here really quickly. Sorry, I'm just fixing my curls. I can show you guys my outfit. Um, so for the jewelry, I wanna start off with jewelry. What I have for jewelry is just my Rolex watch. I have two Cartier bracelets and my tennis bracelet. I have these rings, which I will link down below. They are on my Amazon storefront, so if you do wanna shop with me, that'll be in the description box. So let's get into the outfit. The ring is this dress by Zara. It's cool fitted. As far as shoes, what I'm gonna be wearing as shoes is I'm going to be wearing these Louboutin mules that I got. They're super old, like these are like years ago, so. Really, really old um, Louis Vuittons, but they're so pretty. And it does put a pop of color as far as um, what's on my dress. Because my dress has a mixture of colors. And the bag for tonight is going to be my Chanel bag. Um, of course, the details. So I'm going to be wearing my Chanel bag. I'm just keeping it nice and simple. My hair is curled. This is a flexi rod set. So this is pretty much what I'm wearing tonight. So I will see you guys at dinner. Hey, guys. So I'm on my way to... Um, my best friend's house because I do not feel like driving. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. Um, I don't feel like driving, so what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna hang, head over to her house and she's like, like 15, 20 minutes away from me and she's gonna drive. So, <laughs> so spoiled of my best friend. Um, so she's gonna drive, um, but plus she just got out of the gym anyways. Um, our reservation's for 9.30. It is currently 8.36 p.m. Um, she made the reservation for 9.30. Um, cause she just left the gym. She doesn't finish the gym until 8.30, but she left a little bit early so that she can meet me. Um, but I'm excited because we love this place. It's called Mastro's. Um, there's one in Fort Lauderdale that we like to go to. Um, so we're gonna go there now. I'm starving. I, I tried to hold out as much as I possibly can. Um, but I'm hungry. I'm hungry. 
I love your shoes. Thank They're you. beautiful. Oh, shoes too. Oh, you look cute you too. Thank you. Hello. Okay. Can we say it's ladies? Who's this? It's gonna yeah. be a solo, or can we chime in? No, you guys can definitely. I don't know the words to this Rihanna song. How the hell? I'm not. I think doing? Rihanna's voice is acquired taste, and um, okay. it's not that for gospel shit. Okay, some of her songs I don't really like. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Once you get like get in a routine, I guess it's like I can do my twist like make my makeup like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. That is the biggest thing for me. I can't contour. I don't have patience to contour. Oh, it's and adorable. I, like, like, I'm like, I'm like, if you don't contour, at least highlight. You know, you can give yourself, you can give yourself like a glow. Let me see your nails. This is very different. Oh, my nails are short. I know, and they're fun. Oh yeah, they're friends. This is very different. Yeah, they're friends. Have, like, my nails to be so long, and I was just like, when you get older, you're just like, you, you're not a child anymore. It's time to grow up. So I got short nails, and plus I have a lot of plants in my house, so I'm always in soil. A lot of plants. I have a. <laughs> she lives in a jungle. The jungle is inside of the house. I'm talking about. I did not have that many plants. It sounds like you did. Seriously? I plants will eat you alive. So first of all, she cannot go one day. See how she's selling out on my plants? No, she can't go up. She's like selling out. She made a fire thing. She's selling out. And she's selling out. I'm, I'm telling facts. She's selling out. Yeah, and it's not just like any water. It's a specific water. and It has to be purified water. Or it has to be like rain water. Yeah. yeah. It has to be rain water. I have killed you. I've literally killed every plant really? like succulents yes like all but of the succulents are easier because succulents all you have to do is leave it by yeah. the window but that's the and thing. water once no, a month I, I, I kill them the snake plants the snake plants are so easy that, that, everybody keeps saying that I've killed a snake plant um, you probably over watered it you probably only water it once a month I don't know. I'm either over watering or under watering. I don't have the patience. So I'm just, I, I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm so happy my darling and you all are here. I got you this. Thank you so our much. Our lemon drop shot. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I know. That's it's so Friday. sweet of you. Thank right. you. I'm Yay. the sweetest, believe me. I'm the I know. And this is the ticket time. But go ahead, do your shots. Thank Ooh, you. You know those tres. Friday night with a lemon drop shot. Absolutely. Oh wow. You see it goes down so easily. It's really good. It is. Thank you. I remember. Shrimp cocktail. We are going to do the jumbo um, love crab twist. The two? Two. We're going to do sauteed shrimp. Sauteed so shrimp, three shrimps, perfect. And then we're going to do um, oyster. Rockefeller or in the hot shell? No, on the hot shell. Okay, so is everything for the table? Yes. Summer time with the oysters. Thank you, Jesus. No, no, no. I didn't, I didn't. So, yeah, but we can put it over there. 
Thank ay, you. Ay, calabanga. Ay, caramba, sí. Ay, caramba, it's right. The inside. And we have a, a atomic horse radish. Very oh, spicy. Atomic. Spicy. I I want atomic. atomic. It is atomic. I it is atomic. It is here also. Okay. Yeah, Tabasco. And these little guys around are caper berries. Tabasco. 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 T
<laughs> I'm tired. I'm getting old. My bedtime is 9 p.m. No, it's we not. We are going to Bianca's house to take No. Shot, my shot, bedtime shot, is shot, 9 p.m. No. Shot, 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 We're going shot, to a strip club. My bedtime is 9 p.m. 9 p.m. <laughs> well, technically, if you take 9 p.m. minus 2.45, it's 9. Yeah, there's there's a the, the change of time thing that's happening We're going to strip club for real? So we got to uh, make up for that. You're going to lose an hour on uh, Sunday, right? But it's a weekend. It's, no, so we're, we're making up for it It's daylight today. savings time right. this weekend. Well, daylight so savings time. time. No, it's daylight so savings time this weekend. Up. We're making it up right now. <laughs> that's all we're doing is making up for Sunday. All I'm saying is... At 2 a.m., the time rolls around, people. All I'm saying is life is short and there's a strip club by the house. There is a strip club by the house. Is that Goldfingers? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. I I'm gonna see my homegirl Porsche because Marcus back to me. <laughs> Hey guys i am home on my couch so this is the end of the vlog um today is currently saturday the 5th i'm so tired from last night when i tell you my bedtime is at 9 p.m it's at 9 p.m <laughs> but anyways i love you guys make sure you guys subscribe to the channel more weekly vlogs are coming up make sure to follow me on instagram and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys